Hello everyone, it is video blog time. It's been a while. I haven't video blog since um, like March or April 2021, quite a while ago. Uh, in, in fact, the last video blog I made was me telling you that I was going to have a new song and a new music video very soon. Now that didn't happen. Now the video blog's still there, it's okay. Sometimes I plan things and, and it doesn't happen. So, uh, and I have my reasons for that. Act well, actually, the song that I was working on in March or April, I'm, I'm actually still working on it. And it's actually almost done. Uh, but I didn't release it as early as I thought I would for, for different reasons. And I wish I could get into all the details and act well, actually, maybe not, it's quite boring. <laughs> but uh, I'll save you with the details because it's quite boring. Uh, anyways, uh, the other the other thing, the one that I actually did not do was the music video for the song, the opera. Like I said in that last video blog, sometimes I want to make a video, I have the vision, I just don't get to it. And uh, for this one, I, I wanted to do it, but I think the time has passed for that. The song is there on my last album. You know, I like the song, but, you know, it won't have a music video. It's okay. Uh, so... Okay, so what, right after that video blog, what happened was uh, summer 2021 happened. And if you've heard the term, the Great Resignation, not the Great Reset, that's something else. The Great Resignation. A lot of people changing their professions, changing their minds on what it is they want to do. They leave their job for something else during this whole, and I'm not going to call it a pandemic anymore. Uh, at some point, we have to stop calling that, that calling it that. It's a whole different video, uh, and I'm, I'm, I don't mean to get political or anything here, but I'm just saying, like, it's at the point that we're at now, uh, things have changed obviously in the world. At the same time, I'm not going to just say, oh, you know, the pandemic. Uh, it was a pandemic, and right now where we're at, I don't even know what to call it. But um, my point with that is that things were changing. Things were changing in my mind. Things were changing for lots of people around this 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 world. And for me, a lot was going on up here, and it, it, it equated into me saying, what do I want to do? Uh, if, you've, if you're familiar with these video blogs, I always talk about how I'm a musician and you know, stuff like that. Uh, and I probably say that way too many times, but it was around this time, right after that video blog, where I was like, I want to do something different. Um, now, this is not a short-term goal or short-term, you know, get it done. This is something that takes a while. I had, I, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I, I did get my GED when I was, I don't know what, what age, but it was like in 2008. It was 2007, sorry. And I never really did anything with it, uh, but I got it. I'm, I'm very glad I got it. Uh, so... May 2021, I decide I'm going to go into, uh, uh, long story short, go into human resources. S sounds very interesting. Uh, and there's an associate's degree for it, so I decided to, to, to do that. And uh, I'm three semesters into that, so start in the summer, fall. Now I'm about to start spring. And you don't actually need a degree to go into human resources technically, but at the same time I spent so long being a musician and pretty much only a musician, so I, I need to learn about human resources. So I, I, I decided that getting the associate's degree is a good choice while maybe eventually uh, working while getting the degree. I, I should finish within this, maybe I should finish this summer, uh, if not in the fall, uh, depending uh, if the, what, what classes are available. And I'm going to try to finish as quick as I can. Um, and get a job as quick as I can. Uh, so getting a job in something that I'm, that I'm interested in, that I'm genuinely interested in, was, was very important to me. And uh, well, we'll see how that goes. And I'm in the process of it as we speak. So I'm happy with that. But that, that took me into a period, May 2021, well, technically June 2021, where I was very focused on classes. Very, And this is online, of course. But still, it's the workload's pretty big, actually bigger than I thought it would be. Um, uh, and it, it's taking my, or what it was taking my full attention during that period of time. And I think I've gotten a little bit more used to how online classes work at this point to where I'm finding myself a little bit more, uh, and, and, ju and just because as for like principle, trying to learn about something new, that took it to where I had to focus and not think too much about music. Plus, to be honest with you, I, I probably needed a break anyways. Uh, and so I pretty much went on break from June to about as soon as this semester ended, uh, the, the fall semester, which was like in, in late November, 
uh, that's around the, around the time that I started to post the live videos that I, that I started posting here on this YouTube channel and TikTok. And so I mentioned TikTok on that last video blog. And between then and all the way till, I, till the end of the fall semester, I was uploading little funny videos and just little funny stuff uh, that I could just make really quick. I enjoy doing those. I've always mentioned I enjoy doing that sort of thing. So I pretty much had time to only do that. And I was doing that on TikTok. And, I, and I'd upload the best stuff. Well, <laughs> what I would think is the best stuff here on my YouTube channel as well. That's probably that's why if you're familiar with the channel, you're probably like, what is Chris doing? What is all this stuff? Manly morning voice. What is this? <laughs> well, stuff I have fun doing. I still want to do stuff like that. But uh, now that I have the time between uh, the, the semesters, I'm having fun playing music as much as I can. I even played a show a couple about, about a month ago, and I was quite rusty, to be honest with you. Uh, but I mentioned I was going to talk about the video blogs here, so uh, let me do that. I don't, I don't want to go. I don't want this to go beyond 15 minutes. So uh, it, I was watching the video blogs here on my YouTube channel, uh, and I guess because I'm here now and get, you know getting ready to go into the to the spring semester. And I'm trying to have as much fun and, and get be as productive as I possibly can with music while I have the free time. And, uh, and oh, and by the way, I released a new song called Thorns, and that just happened. Like, I was writing a song. I wasn't really writing too much uh, over the, 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 the school periods. And, but this song happened fast, and I'm like, well, this, the lyrics are fully there. I don't think I can make, uh, I don't think I can make this song that much better because it's very simple, and it just happened. Uh, so I... I played the song live here in this room, and, and I just it just happened. I went outside, it was rainy, and I wanted to get some rain shots, and then I'm like, well, you know, I'll film me while I'm at it. So that happened, and well, I put the video and the, and the song out in a span of like three, four days. So I just, still don't know if it's good or not. I thought it was, but anyways, new song, Thorns, check it out. Uh, okay, so that was a surprise, cause I didn't think I was going to have a new song this year. Uh, anyways, so watching the vlogs because they're there and a lot of them are really long and I don't really re re-watch them, you know. I just get my thoughts out and, and, and those vlogs, I started them in 2017 and the last one, like I said, April of this past year. Uh, just watching some of them and it, it's just really weird and it's going to connect with the next video that I that I upload, uh, my thought process. Uh, it's just weird how, how people grow and I'm sorry if it sounds like I don't know if that would sound arrogant or sound uh, cocky, but it's it's I'm being critical on myself, like watching those vlogs, and I'm not gonna delete them because I feel like that's part of the growth and it's part of the project, the way I do things. You know, even the music is like that. You see the songs grow as I as I become better at playing maybe the certain instrument, you know, and you can hear that. Uh, the first vlog I did was about music and how I see it coexisting with the big label. The big labels, the music industry, and I talked a lot about that in these video blogs about DIY music. And the whole reason I'm talking about the vlogs is because going to TikTok, it's quite evident that there is almost some sort of—I don't want to use the word epidemic because it's a little dramatic—but there is somewhat of an unsigned uh, DIY. The kind of subject I always would talk about in the, in the vlogs. There's just a little bit of an epidemic, and that's a, I know, dramatic, but a problem where there's so many people like me, like, and people like, and if you're watching and you're a musician, there's so much of us, like, people that are tr just making videos on TikTok, on Instagram, especially TikTok. And it's like a whole community. I don't know who we're talking to. Is it so we're talking to each other? Are we trying to get fans? I, I don't know. I think on an individual basis, it's different. And that's what I've always said about the DIY music community. What have I always said? I've always said, there is no pathway. There is no right way. There's just a way that ends up working for you. And you see a lot of these a lot of these people end up getting things that really work for them. Some some that do, some that don't. Some, some have huge TikToks and then you go to their Spotify and no one's listening to, to the music. If that makes you happy, then, then there's nothing wrong with that. Some have an okay TikTok and then you go to their, to their Spotify and think, whoa, you know, maybe that's ad money. I, I, I don't know. Um, some have good TikToks and then have really good Spotify's, you know, it just, I don't know. It, everyone's a little bit different. Um, but I will say TikTok, the community of music is like, it. it is, it's booming, it's, it's big, but it's also like, I don't want to use the word sad, but it's kind of, 
because it just seems like the musicians on there are are all kind of talking to each other and just like I do with this video blog a lot of times I'm what would you say projecting like I'm saying things that you should do but it's really things that I should do you know stuff like that and it's kind of hard to make a vlog where you're not doing that because we're talking from our own experiences and you could I could say you want to do this and you could be like well Chris maybe you should do that and and it, and it, and it works like that a lot but on, on TikTok these videos are very short it's like and everyone kind of does it a little differently you could be you could make your content around pro tools or you know good tricks right come you know check this trick out right okay but the end game is to go hear that person's music and, and it's not really like uh, a, a secret you know it, when you see a musician especially if you are a musician you know that's the end game uh, some people like collabing some people don't and it's one of those things where it's like you have to find your niche and what works for you it's very hard and I think the thing with music on TikTok is that there's a way to do things and it's and you could be successful at doing that one thing but it doesn't always translate to getting people to like go where you want them to so I think if you're the kind of person that can just kind of be free form like okay well that works I'm gonna do that and if that makes you happy then I think that's a good thing but you could be the kind of person like well I've been known to be this way is like well okay that worked but it didn't get into the music ah oh, that makes me sad but see that's that's up to you, you know, and my next video vlog is going to talk a lot about that mindset, uh, about purpose and, and, and making the most of, of your life and what it is you want to do. So tune into that one if you want. But anyways, about, just to keep going about the vlogs, uh, it doesn't make me a little happy to see the fact that I was talking about this issue on the vlogs. Now, even... I, I don't think I did a very good job on it, to be honest with you. The vlogs are rather rough, and I'm, I don't think I'm a very good vlogger, to be honest with you. But uh, I do. I, I, I tend to think that... Like, I made a Chris Guy timeline vlog that's an hour. I don't know if a human being should ever talk about themselves for an hour, which I did. Uh, and I thought it was like, well, it's just to kind of get it out there. This is, who, this is what this project is. And I think a lot of this vlog, I've talked about myself. Um, but that's an hour where I talk about the timeline and I'm like, wow, that's a lot about yourself, buddy. Um, and a lot of vlogs are like that. And I think there's some good ones. I think there's some better ones than others. They're all, I'm going to keep them all up. They're there. If you want to see them, check it out. I'm happy the fact that I, I at least was trying to highlight something that I definitely see happening on TikTok. So to answer the question, uh, that I was, or that the, the whole idea that I was trying to get, uh, to cover on my first vlog and 2017 is the music industry ever going to somehow uh, coexist with the DIY world I think it already is so I you know, okay I mentioned that in 2017 and it is kind of happening so you know yeah you know, that's a that was a good call I guess uh, it, there's a place for artists that you know that's all they do or you know artists they want to call themselves artists uh, regardless of their age, regardless of, of how busy they are and, they, you know, whether they can have the time to be artists, it doesn't matter. There's a place for you on social media. And, uh, you know, you can take that out to live gigs off of social media, which is always kind of refreshing to do, you know, and get out to the real world. Uh, there's options. There's options to do that. So that's great. That is really great. And I think it's more uh, now than 2017. Like, I think it's progressed. And... Um, I think I will end this one here because that's kind of what I wanted to cover. Like I did, I, those ideas of DIY blooming and having a, 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 there still isn't rules to it. It's still like, you know, your game, it's your world. You call it how you want to do it. There's no label signing you and say, Hey, you're going to do it this way, you know? And so it's still like that. Um, uh, but I think there's more options now. And now with my whole thing, during that period and I vlogged about it for quite some time and I probably still will uh, because I think that it's an ongoing thing and anyways so right now that I have the time I'm trying to make the most of it so anyways the vlogs are there they're a little rough I know I'm trying I'm gonna try to get better at it to be honest with you so one way to get better at it is to actually s cut the videos short when I say I want them to be short for example I'm 30 seconds 30 seconds from 15 minutes so that's where I'm gonna end it on this one uh, the vlogs are there if you want to see them uh, they're you know they're long and I promise I will try to get better at them. Uh, DIY world of music is like, it, 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 it's so crazy that it's like actually kind of tiresome, to be honest with you. Because uh, the musicians, who are we talking to? 
we want to talk to people that like our music, not necessarily just other musicians. But anyways, I, I think it could eventually get there. So anyways, that's it for this vlog. Uh, to the next one. Till next time. Rock on.